Now all of Adbri's retaining walls I consider DIY friendly, but if you start adding curves to it, you might add an extra element when it comes to putting your capping stone on. So I'm gonna go through a couple of different ways you can do it from absolute beginner to looking like a master craftsman. All right, absolute beginner would be just to butt them up at the front and have a massive big gap at the bottom. Now, it's easy, but it doesn't look great. The next thing you could do is you could cut triangles and fill that gap in. But then you've got a huge contrast between a tiny little triangle and then your large format that finishes off the wall. The next step is to lay them out dry, leaving a gap between two pavers, getting the back corners to join up, and having an overlay at the front on both sides that's equal. Now what you could do is grab a permanent marker and scribe down there, scribe down there, and then cut these two pavers that are in position. This one will naturally fall down and sit flush with them when that void has been taken away. And that looks pretty good. But if you want to do it like a tradesman, what you do is come to the front, you divide that distance in half and you mark both of them equally. Same on this side. And then you bring that line through to the back corner on both sides and you bring that line through to the back corner on both sides. And when you put it in position, all three pavers or all three capping stones will be exactly the same size and you will look like you've had the tradies round to do it, but we all know you did it.